We have developed and are still in the process of improving upon these developments. Uh, we have developed uh, ways to diagnose uh, premature ovarian aging quite reliably. Uh, and uh, that involves some of our core research over the last five years through um, age-specific ovarian function testing, some genetic testing, immune testing. It's a real large research body that, that has given us that insight. And by being able to pick out those patients, we not only do reach correct diagnosis, but we also can apply, of course, correct treatment and therefore get much better pregnancy rates. In its simplest form, unexplained fertility means that the tubes are open, that a woman is making eggs, and that a man is making sperm, and that um, don't know why you're not getting pregnant. On further inspection, it's almost never true. Uh, on further inspection, um, there may be scars around the tubes if you take a careful examination of not just the report from the radiologist about the, the tubal study, but actually look at the films yourself. And, and every week we see films that are inappropriately read because the radiologists just don't have that much experience reading those films. Um, or if you look more carefully at the ovarian parameters, um, somebody may not be menopausal, but they may indeed have evidence that their ovaries are not functioning appropriately for their age. Well, our strategy, first of all, would be to say to them, we don't believe in that diagnosis, and you need some additional testing. And we would bring her in, and with over 90% probability, within two to three weeks, we will have a diagnosis for them.